Hello guys, welcome back to our On One Studios podcast, Between Us Foos. My name is Kevin Braze, and before we start, I just want to let you guys know that we are going to be releasing these every other Monday, um, every other Monday morning. So if you don't want to miss one of our podcasts, please be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube. Um, leave a like and a comment if you guys have any suggestions about what you want us to talk about. So yeah, today we're going to be talking about dance on TV, everything related to World of Dance, America's Best Dance Crew. Uh, so you think you can dance? So Between Us Foos, let's talk about it. Hi guys, welcome back to Between Us Foos. Uh, for those who are t- tuning in for the first time, uh, Between Us Foos is our On One Studios podcast where we're going to talk about everything um, dance related, studio related, um, Bay Area related. So um, yeah, today's Foos uh, consists of Brandon, uh, Donita, myself, uh, Kevin Brace, and Phil Dog over here. <laughs> um, Phil Dog is filling in uh, for our fourth slot. So everybody say hi. All right, so um, <laughs> before we get into today's topic, we're gonna um, give you a quick announcement from On One Studios. On September 14th, we're going to have our open floor showcase. Um, it is gonna be the celebration of On One Studios being open for two years, so it's super awesome. Um, it's gonna be again on September 14th. Just be sure to um, follow us on our social media channels as information is released. Yeah. So. Now, today's topic. Um, So we're gonna be talking about dance on TV, right? So like, it's interesting because dance on TV, to me, is almost a little bit divisive in the dance community um, where on one side, we're pretty thankful for like, um, it being a tool to have mass exposure for dance as an art form and stuff. But I also think because of the limited format of it, it doesn't really capture or cap, yeah, like portray um, a lot of the other things that goes along with dance. So um, it's interesting that we kind of have this love-hate relationship with um, with dance as a whole um, on TV. Um, so, I mean, for you guys, like where did you guys, um, or what shows did you watch in general, <laughs> like um, for dance on TV, where did you first see it? Um, how were you exposed to it? Um, whatever else. Uh, movies. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely first thing is movies like Step Up, Honey. You know, oh those were my, fe- my first real exposure of dance on TV. It wasn't until later on as I got older, then there was shows like So You Think You Can Dance, um, America's Best Dance Crew, even Dancing with the Stars. You know, now we have World of Dance. <clears throat> so... That's where I, I got exposed. Yeah. What about you, Brandon? I feel like uh, for me, I came a lot later. Uh, I didn't. When everyone was talking about like Step Up and like Honey, I kind of didn't really know what people were talking about. <laughs> I came. The first dance show I watched was uh, America's Best Dance Crew, season five. Oh my god. So, yeah. So I don't know what year that was, but it was pretty late in the game. And um, but yeah, that was my first time seeing it anywhere. Really. Oh, yeah. yeah. Season five was. Poriotics. Poriotics were the champions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, I know, you I, watched a lot of it. Yeah, I watched, I think, like, the first five seasons of, oh, okay. of America's Best Dance Crew. Because honestly, I think um, that show in particular was kind of what got me into dance a little bit. Right. Um, so, yeah, like, I was really pretty obsessed with it and stuff. I actually went to some meet and greets <laughs> overall. Nice. Yeah, so it was just this whole thing. So, um, yeah, I watched that a lot. So You Think You Can Dance for me was, like, the first like two seasons and I actually have yet to watch like I haven't watched World of Dance on TV at all um I think nowadays I think I just watch everything on YouTube just particular performances I want to see or things that people are talking about as a whole so that's what my exposure is with dance I didn't even really watch the movies to be honest I've never seen Honey mm. uh, I just know Jessica Alba's in it <laughs> and stuff and it's kind of based on Lorianne's life ish not like it's like an adaptation or something. Oh, like, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's, that's cool. all I know about it. <laughs> I wouldn't know. Oh well, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so I mean, yeah, we're gonna literally delve into like uh, three of the shows that we kind of brought up right now. We're gonna talk about so you think you can dance, America's Best Dance Crew, and World of Dance. And uh, now, just kind of full exposure or not full full disclosure, uh, we're gonna be focusing most more so on the urban um, hip hop side of things. So I know that um, particular So You Think You Can Dance and World of Dance has a lot of different other styles, um, but we're gonna mainly be um, primarily talking about the urban side of things. Um, so historically, I think So You Think You Can Dance came first, right? So So You Think You Can Dance actually premiered on Fox um, 
in what year was that? 2005. Five, yeah. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, so <laughs> it premiered in 2005, um, and it was pretty much the um, dance version of American Idol. Pretty right. much, I yeah. think. Yeah, like people came to audition. You had like these staged, you know, auditions. Mm -hmm. Tough judges. Um, and then it was a process of elimination until they had one person left. Um, I don't even know if the show is still going on. Do you guys know? I think so, yes. It's oh, really? still going on. Oh, yeah. shoot. Okay, yeah. Because like, I think Vanessa Hudgens is a guest. I mean, a judge, oh, I think. What? Okay, yeah, don't. I didn't check my facts. <laughs> <laughs> but I know, like, some, like they have a celebrity gut, um, judge on there. Oh, shoot. If it's not know. her, then I think. Um, no, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, it's still going on for sure. I had no idea. Dang. I mean, if you guys know, leave it in the comments, <laughs> please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I actually didn't even know. I'm, I really don't watch TV at all anymore. Yeah. Um, but So You Think You Can Dance, um, to me, was an interesting time, I think, in dance. In 05, I felt like the dance community as a whole was like not even a huge... Exists. Or like it was very underground, Right. I think. Like super, super, super there underground. There was still like pockets everywhere. There wasn't like one big community, mm -hmm. maybe, mm -hmm. you yeah. would say? Exactly. That's what it felt like, at least for me, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean... Um, I think it kind of helped, but what was interesting to me is I think what we consider, I guess, urban dance today, they labeled as pretty much hip hop, right? Or lyrical hip hop or contemporary hip hop or something. Something right? hip hop, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> On that show, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, like, so when you guys watched it, what, how do I describe it? Like, what, did you care that it was called that at, at that point? Or were you guys even dancing at that point? Um, at, in 2005, I was 15. So I mean, like, um, I'm 28 now, right? So it's like 13 years ago. But like, for me, I didn't even dance. So I didn't really think twice about it, mm -hmm. um, to be honest. So what was your guys' kind of experience with that show? Um, so you think you could dance when we're talking about just like the hip hop side, urban hip hop, urban, whatever. Um, yeah, it was like, I didn't care much about what it was called, but it did, I did notice that the style is very different from what I see in like, in real life, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Meaning in my immediate um, surroundings, you know what I'm saying? So it there was still kind of like, this is like a different type of style still from mm -hmm. what we are. Cause let's say I was still, maybe around 2007, 2008, the hip hop, you know, that I was used to is di very different from what they were showing on So You Think You Can Dance. You know what I'm saying? Cause um, like the choreography was more different. It was really different. Mm -hmm. And I, I was watching stuff like, you know, Body Rock, you know, with like Gen 2. That's just oh, like, yeah. when you compare that back then, it's completely different, you know what I'm saying? So in my head, the, the labels, um, it kind of just, yeah, it was different. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know what the the body rock style back then was called. It's hard to explain, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think on the show, maybe, I, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, uh, people in the comments, but um, I feel like the show um, focused a little bit more on the industry side of right. hip-hop dance, right? right? Yeah. Um, That's what it looked like. Yeah, and then the community aspect of it wasn't, as prominent as it is now um and i don't even know if like that division was even that established at that time like industry versus community i don't know because again like i was not really a dancer in 2005 right, right. <laughs> like mm -hmm. so it's hard for me to fully say um you know we're just reliving our side of history you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. there's different right. there's different perspectives but um you know but at one point there was choreographers on that show that i did know yeah um i think Honestly, I wasn't even in big on the YouTube game, but um, I believe the first time I had ever seen a dance by Keone and Mari was on So You Think You Can Dance. They were guest really? choreographers on there. Really? Yeah. That was like That's, later on, right? Yeah, More it wasn't recently? like the first couple seasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like somewhere in the middle. I don't that know. That was the first time you've, you've seen their choreography? Yeah, I think so. Because I, I was just like, you know, I'm not a YouTube searchy kind of guy, mm -hmm. you know? I still kind of am not, so it kind of, it's tough for me to like stay in tune with what's going on with the community sometimes. You know, Sean but was also a choreographer of that show. Was he really? Yes. Dang, I didn't what? even know that. Yes. Oh my God. He was. Um, he's pretty cool. Man. 
I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I think I googled it once, like um, what dance that they actually did and the people who performed it and stuff. Like it's crazy how it translates. It translates very yeah. differently on their bodies. It's, yeah. it's really interesting. Yeah, that's true. I was actually more uh, like you. I feel like, or I mean, you said you weren't more of a YouTube guy. I was not. Yeah. I feel like I was more of the YouTube kind of guy. Like the, my first exposure was TV through ABDC, but um, after that, like. I just started to like do a lot of searching on my own, mm -hmm. a lot of Google searching, a lot of YouTube videos, and I think that's how I got exposed to what we know now as the community, the community dancers and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but yeah, like when I was watching back then as well, like I couldn't, I didn't really think about the difference if there was one at all um, about how uh, the community movers move for lack of better words, and the mm -hmm. TV. TV. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what you see on TV. You're just naive, Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would probably agree as well. So, I mean, overall, like, what do you guys think, um, how was dance in general portrayed on the show? I mean, as far as you remember, I know we were pretty dance young. Dance in general? Yeah, just dance in general. Like, how, like, what was your kind of opinion about it, or how, you know, the show on this portrayed show, right? it? Yeah, this Which show? Oh, So, uh, you, so think you, you Think You Can Dance. dance. Oh, okay, okay. So, particularly for the So You Think You Can Dance, um, not trying to f foreshadow what we're going to talk about <laughs> later on, but I did think that that was true to dance, you know, like, because it, it had so many other styles, and those dancers can dance, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? They can dance whatever style you throw at them, and it's really amazing. They're, they're, it's like, it's almost um, not impossible, but the the amount of like skill they have the people they have on that show it's like no doubt they belong on that show if that makes sense you know yeah. and so my point was also is like i didn't really watch anything you can dance for hip-hop i was actually watching it for the other styles because yeah. those styles were um it was just you know like contemporary even like they had um partner dances like salsa, right. salsa cha cha and stuff yeah. like yeah. They were just really what I thought was the best uh, versions. Like you, it was like the Olympics of dance in my mm -hmm. for those styles. I didn't really care much about the hip hop to be honest. At the time, yeah. Yeah, at the time, <laughs> I just watched it for those because I was I was into to like the classical styles as well. So it was it was entertaining to watch mm -hmm. too. Yeah. So that was, but to me, so anything you can dance, it's. It has, it's a very high caliber, like people on there have got skills, you know what I mean? They had a heck of training, all that stuff, so. Yeah, I think it was the first time I was exposed to the word contemporary. I was like, mm. what does mm. that mean? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then, you know, Mia Michaels and stuff, and just, I would always get excited when it was like a, a routine choreographed by Mia Michaels. I was like, oh shoot, here we go. She was great. Yeah, like I, those are some of the, my favorite performances, I think I remember from the show, um, personally, yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you, Brandon? <laughs> what about the show? For that dance? Yeah, or for I mean, that show? Well, yeah, in general, like, what do you think about how So You Think You Dance portrayed dance as a whole? Uh, well, I didn't really watch it back then. Oh, right. So right, I, right. I don't really know, like, if my words have that much <laughs> <laughs> value. But um, from the few episodes that I did watch, uh, I feel like it did, it did inc have a lot of variety on it. And I think that was a great thing because it kind of just gave everyone, or something for everyone to kind of watch. Yeah. Like you, yeah. Like you don't, uh, or like for all types of dancers, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even, even if you're not a dancer, um, you're just exposed to a bunch of different types of dance and that can open your eyes on how many types of dances there are. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. And the fact that you're, yeah, like kind of to piggyback off your point, like the fact that you see all these dancers, particularly even the hip hop dancers delve into these other styles exactly. right, is so interesting to see because it's like, um, at the end of the day, movement is movement, yeah. right? And so it's just a new way to kind of discover their bodies or discover mm -hmm. their movement and, or like even experiment with it. And so it was really cool to see. Um, particularly, I just remember, I think it was season one. Um, I don't even know his real name. I think his, <laughs> I think his Instagram is Ryan Anime, right? Mm -hmm. Ryan. Ryan. Um, Confederate, yeah. com something, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Comments, Quest please let me know. Crew. Quest crew, yeah. Right. Um, but I just remember seeing him and I think it was the first time personally that I had seen like a Filipino dancer on TV mm. and it was just like cool to kind of see that representation. Right. That was know? another reason why I like that show too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It had just like a variety of people on there. That's true. So, 
But speaking of Quest Crew and Ryan Anime, um, we're going to move on to our next show, um, which is going to be America's Best Dance Crew. Um, so interesting show, right? Like, I think this is the one that probably most dancers today, or right. at least of our generation, connect to the most, I guess, or at least experienced mm -hmm. the most, right? Mm -hmm. um, of course, World of Dance currently, which we're going to talk about later, um, is go going on right now. Um, but America's Best Dance Crew was kind of a show that popped up when a lot of us were starting in our dance journey. And so, like I said earlier, Dan America's Best, Best Dance Crew kind of like started my dance journey. I was like really, um, um, really inspired by it overall. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, what what do you, what are your guys' experiences with the show overall? Overall opinion. Yeah, I feel like after I saw season five, I started like I said earlier, I started doing like more research and stuff. So I even went back and watched, rewatched all the previous seasons, and mm -hmm. I was like, dang, I'm really into this. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like it really opened uh, the floodgates for me in terms of dance because it showed me that like, oh like. And it's like a simple thought, but like, oh, you could do this with other people, and then you guys can like make stuff look cool, like you know, yeah. like yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And oh. so it's like, yeah, exactly. It's like you don't really think of it, but it's like super, super simple, right? The mm -hmm. concept of it is just yeah. And so uh, I think, um, yeah, I just started following the journeys of like my favorite crews and stuff, and um, I feel like that's what helped me get into it even more just seeing like because they would show in some episodes there them practicing and rehearsing and stuff like that so I thought that was cool it also gave uh, like a window to like people outside on what happens when dancers aren't on stage and mm. they're like preparing yeah, so I yeah. thought that was cool that was cool for me yeah mm -hmm. well you do I'm trying to remember like when what year this came on Oh, I think it was, let me take a look, fact check, uh, 2008. 2008. Was first season. season. The first one. season, so yeah. So Jabberwockies was 2008. Jabberwockies, yeah. So that's also when I started watching YouTube, like mm -hmm. Gen oh, 2. So I think um, that's when I saw dance. Um, I started hyper-focusing into like hip hop and wanting to be in a team and mm -hmm. doing something in an, in a group you know, yeah. because of stuff like YouTube and Gen 2 and um, this show, America's yeah. Best Dance Crew. Um, and I remember this show, you could have voted, right? You could vote your favorite team. Oh, yeah. And yeah, I was you like, send in a text or right. something. Right, and I was yeah. like, how is this rigged? Because every time <laughs> I voted, I was like, the near the end, the teams I always voted for, like, you know, they get up eliminated. Mm. So I was like, hmm, that's when I started, like, questioning kind of like the integrity of mm. the, the TV, TV, you know, and like if this is like scripted and you know, right. things like that. But um, I watched it for pure entertainment probably because like um, teams like Fanny Pack, probably my favorite. Ooh, yeah. Um, Cab Cabin Modern was on there, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and then once I saw them on TV, then I would look on YouTube type of thing. Yeah. So it's like, it's cool because they exposed me to those people and then exposed me to the community <laughs> even right. more. So mm -hmm. I got that to thank for for that show, at least. That's my experience. Because <laughs> yeah. a bunch of them are also like part of, they're not only in those crews, a bunch of them are in other like yeah. dance teams oh, outside. Yeah, exactly. And so, yeah, like Dil said, uh, when you like, when I would like research more and look into like a crew and you follow like your favorite people, yes. mm -hmm. you learn that they're, doing a bunch of other stuff in dance and so it kind of like it just I feel like dance on TV kind of just uh, naturally expands the you know what I'm getting at yeah. uh, <laughs> like, like, yeah. the, it opens yeah. uh, the, the it widens the window for yeah. the, the general public yeah yeah yeah, yeah. or yeah mm -hmm. yeah and I, I agree with you with like that give those little snippets that they would do right before their performances would mm -hmm. kind of give like a little taste of what's going on. Of course, it's a TV show. It's a reality TV reality TV show, right? So like they would kind of like, what's the word? I guess formulate some things. Like I think, yeah. <laughs> um, for me, I think there was one time where Fanny Pack was like, oh, what's his name? Bo. I think mm. yeah and they had this like little thing where he's like oh I can't do a double pirouette I was like I'm 
pretty sure you can do yeah, a double can. pirouette. <laughs> like, you're Bo. <laughs> like, yeah, you're Bo. Like, you can do, like, probably, like, five. So, like, honestly, right. like, I was like, okay, it's yeah, it's scripted. They want to have that drama or whatever. Right, right. Right, yeah. so with that being said, like, I mean, maybe slightly controversial opinion here, but, yeah, I do, like, the scripted thing, like, I think um, the fact that Cap, uh, season one, Cap of Modern got eliminated um, and they got third place and stuff, um, and then I forget, I don't even remember the second place team, but um, they were right, South, exactly. that team from the South. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> no, I mean, no offense to anyone from out there, but Let yeah, like. <laughs> Let us know. <laughs> um, but yeah, like basically like, I I felt like they had to, quote unquote, eliminate Kaaba Modern in order to create this narr- narrative of mm. West versus South, right? right? Like it, it's just a reality TV show thing. And it's just um, Kaaba Modern was unfortunately the, I guess, for lack of a better word, victim of that. Right. It's yeah. like we can't have two West teams. Yeah. Like that's that's probably what went yeah. through their heads. Yeah, exactly. Maybe. I think even fourth place was um, fish and chips, right? Which was also the Dang, West Coast team. Yeah. See, I know. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, told you, I was all about it. It's been a long time. <laughs> like, yeah. Right. Yeah. You did um, a paper about this. I did, did you? a paper. I did a my final English paper on just like dance and how dancers are exposed on TV or like portrayed on TV. It was more so about like weight. Overall, mm-hmm. I had to like focus it according to my teacher. But yeah, like I remember there was another crew in season five. I think their their main like gimmick, I guess, was that they were a team of like more hefty, um, mm-hmm. well, more heavy built. impact. Yeah, heavy impact. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. I remember that team. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So they were, I, good. I were good. I like that. They were good. They were <laughs> really good. I just remember, was he a Samoan guy? I don't know. He's yeah, like, I, I, I forget. He had really long hair. Insert picture. Yeah, <laughs> find it. <laughs> but yeah, I, know, I mean, but. Speaking of like particular dancers, like a lot of dancers that we know today, like we're on that show. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got like Mike Song coming from there, um, Brian mm. Puspos, uh, yep. Andrew Batterina, So um, Real Crew, So Real Crew, all them. Um, and then uh, even honest, like even Kinjas technically as a whole, right? right? Like I mean, they existed, right? But then I think um, the I guess what was supposed to be the revival of America's Best Dance Crew season eight, like that's where Kinjas really like started to really right. blow up because they got that extra exposure from mm-hmm. the show mm-hmm. yeah so that's true yeah. what other teams do you guys remember what was your favorites well i can only re- i have bad memory <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> really really bad memory but i mean fanny pack was my favorite mm-hmm. um cabin morning was my favorite um that's all i can remember well, <laughs> <laughs> really i know well i just remember like I, I wasn't physically there, but I think I remember hearing from someone that Fanny Pack was like booed off stage at a certain point what? because Team Millennia got eliminated in the pre. pre oh, they were. Prelims. Oh, t- yeah. So uh, t- Jim t- Kamada t- was there, right? Like, and the, I like, like TM too. Yeah, TM yeah. was there, yeah. but then they only were they got eliminated because uh, Fanny Pack took their spot, and I guess because it's filmed in LA or whatever. Um, mm. oh, you know, okay, like I it's see. this whole thing. I so see. I, but I don't think you actually hear it in the show or see it in the show. Right. But um, that's what I hear, right? So okay. if anyone was there, let us know <laughs> if that was true. But that's just kind of the rumor that I've heard. But Fanny Pack overall, that was one of my favorites, I think. Same. Yeah. Yeah, they were really dope. Yeah. I think I really enjoyed Jabberwockies, of course. Oh, yeah. Soul Supremacy. Mm, I remember that. Thing. George was in that. Oh, was he really? Yeah. Oh, wait, he George was. And, no, um, surreal, Supreme Side. Soul. Supreme Soul. That's what it was. That's, like, that's, yeah. it was. that's a shoe store. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Not then, sponsored. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yet. Yeah, but, I know. Uh, maybe. Those are the s- fanny pack Stand for sure. Out-ish. Stand out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can't really remember, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Quest, Quest Crew was cool. Quest the Crew season they won, I was too. really into them. Yeah. Um, which a lot of them came from So You Think You Dance, right? Like, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ryan yeah. Hawk, mm-hmm. uh, who else? Uh, Dietrich. Right. All them. And Dietrich became a, a, a judge on that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Or I was going to say that. YouTuber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yes, that too. <laughs> that too. <laughs> I remember Ryan Hawk from So You Think You Dance yeah. more mm-hmm. than mm-hmm. ABDC. Yeah, mm-hmm. probably. Because, I mean, they were, yeah, they were individual versus like in a group mm-hmm. right? and stuff. Um, I loved Beat Freaks. Um, is that what they're called? It was a gr- it was a girl group. They were in the same. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I like they them were too. Good. They, were they were good. So good. We yeah. gotta show these like Dang, yeah. I know. snippets I if we can. Like I know. Fatty pack. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Just like you know. Put them in. <laughs> they were great. I mean, the 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 amount of like um, innovation that you saw on that show back then, you mm-hmm. know, like ahead of its time, those teams. For oh sure. yeah. 
Yeah, definitely. And they kind of had to be because they really had to like do things to make themselves stick out. Yeah. Right. More than um, maybe what you would see in class or something. Right. Yeah. Like they have to be like, okay, do a kickflip, do some flares. Like they yeah. got to make it like a kickflip. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? That's just <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you yeah, know. Um, and you know what's interesting? I think um, nowadays seeing them like outside of the, you know, off screen and stuff, it's like you realize that they're just like real people. Yeah. Right. Um, I think I went to go to a meet and greet at, um, at East Ridge, which is the mall here in San Jose. Um, and it was Supreme Soul. Um, and it was. Who did you meet? Uh, Bionic. Oh. And Frost and RJ. Dang. Um, see, I, I told you again, I was super into it. <laughs> but yeah, like, um, I don't know. I I just went. I was it wasn't even my idea. It was like one of my other friends, and we just went, and it was like a meet and greet. But we were like the only ones at the meet and greet. I think at the time. I don't know if <laughs> more people showed up later, yeah. but yeah, like it was just cool to see. And then um, I'm saying your name wrong, um, but like he was a member of Instant Noodles, um, which was another group. Yeah, and. I, you know, I actually met him at like a party, or like one of our friends was actually really good friends with him. Yeah, like oh, do you remember? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, like I okay. Remember. I think he was on instant noodles, and then I just remember having a conversation. He was like, um, "Yeah, the only thing I really remember was like looking over at Mario Lopez, and like he's like, wow, that's a good looking guy." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So like, you know what I mean? I was just like, okay, that's cool. But like, um, who was the judges back then? Oh, J C Shize. Mm-hmm. Lil Mama. Lil Mama. Oh. And, oh, what's Shane his Sparks. Name? Shane Sparks. Who got arrested a couple of years later. And? Or something. There was only three? There was only three. The third I one thought always Randy was. Yeah, because Omarion was, was it for there. a bit. Omarion. Oh, so Randy was never on there? He was the producer. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I think. Jackson? Randy Jackson. 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 Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, so, yeah, like, uh, America's Best Dance Crew, I don't know. Um, I don't know when the last season actually premiered. I think it was, it says 2015. Oh, it's over? Uh, yeah, it's yeah. over. I don't, yeah, there's, um, series is They tried to much, revive it. They tried to revive it end, yeah. with season eight, um, which had the guest judges, or guest, the judges of T-Pain, Tiana Taylor, and Frankie Grande. Interesting. That was, oh, yeah. yeah. That's when, that's the Kinja season. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then Quest Crew on that. That I got opinions well. on that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, well, maybe we'll get into it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, not the only podcast about it, right? So, mm -hmm. like, um, but yeah, let's kind of get into our third and final show that we're going to talk about today: uh, World of Dance, oh. right? Um, a lot is obviously going on right now. Um, World of Dance is on on. I don't know. I know it's had at least two seasons. I don't know if there's a right. third NBC? season. I, I'm pretty out of it. Yeah. NBC, yeah. 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 But um, the first season premiered on doo -doo -doo, 2018 really? um, last, year? last year yeah it was last year um and so yeah, what's interesting and i feel like maybe the masses or whatever don't really know this particular part non about it dancers yeah non-dancers um but pretty much um world of dance actually started i think as a, a an organization run by pretty much um let me get their names real quick um, founded by David Gonzalez, Myron Martin, and Michael McGinn um, in 2008, right? That was when the first um, World of Dance, I guess, um, competition was held. Mm -hmm. um, and it is a so it is a Southern California-based organization. So it's like um, I've I haven't particularly performed at World of Dance really? ever. Yeah, like at Have any you? of the other World of yeah, Dances. A um, but I, it was it was the first dance competition that I had attended. Same. I think it was like 2009 or something. Nice. I've never been to one. I've never performed to one. Dang. And I've, I think I watched like a couple episodes of the show. It's a completely <laughs> different experience than like your typical like competition competitions now, yeah. like, which is in like an auditorium. Mm -hmm. It was in like a warehouse. Warehouse. Like a car show. Warehouse. Yeah. Really hot. Yeah. They would have cars there too. It would be like multiple things happening, car shows, jams happening like outside, mm -hmm. but like the main stage where the competitions are are like in the warehouse. The warehouse, yeah. And then chairs are just laid out. People are walking around while you're performing. You're performing, yeah. It's super informal, but it was different, and so it wasn't a bad thing, I don't think. But um, it was just a completely different experience that I don't think you would really ever get anymore. Oh yeah. yeah, I mean, well, it's still going on, is it? Yeah, not? Wad Bay's coming. Is up. it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Wad Bay is still. Oh, I thought least. they were just doing the TV show now. Oh mm -hmm. no, I think it's just, um, it's a consistent thing. Oh, I know that my junior cool. my junior team did it last year, and I just remember like 
like seeing like a giant J Lo banner. <laughs> you know, I was like, oh, okay, this is a thing. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's gonna go on TV. Like, this is for real. But I mean, kind of transitioning to the actual TV show, right? Um, I didn't watch it on TV, but I watched every single performance by Kinjas and Kyoni and Mari, particularly yes. in the first season, um, which I think they really got the the shine, or what's the word, the spotlight that they really deserved yeah. and stuff, which is really awesome. Um, but what was, you, um, did you guys watch the show at all? Yeah, I watched maybe a couple episodes. Um, and then, you know, times, since I can't watch TV as often, I would probably just look it up on YouTube. I just wanted to watch it to see what their format is because I've watched So You Think You Dance, ABDC. Um, I was wondering what, what kind of, what are they gonna do? Mm -hmm. Something different I noticed was the, their judging. What do you, do you guys know? It was like the a, way they judge things. Yeah, 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 there's different categories, and they do it like on a one to ten scale, or like one to one hundred, or something type thing like that. Like yeah. that. Um, I mean, we could check, but it's just they, yeah, they went. They had categories, and then each judge would um, rank them. It's like on like an iPad. Yeah, now. it's on an iPad, oh, yeah. <laughs> and it, actually, I don't know how they formulate formulate. They take the, like the average, I think. Yeah, it was just, like I was like, wow, so complicated. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, um, and then the judges are J-Lo. Mm -hmm. uh, Derek Huff. Derek Huff. And Neo. Neo. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So, um, which I think, I mean, they, in terms of, like, J-Lo started as a dancer. dancer. So I know that she definitely is passionate about mm -hmm. dance as an art form and stuff. And Derek Huff, um, who gained prominence through Dancing with, Dancing the, with stars. the Stars. Yeah, yeah like, um, he's obviously super passionate about it too. Ooh, Dancing uh, with the Stars. Oh, I know, I know, we'll get into that. <laughs> Maybe not today, but like, someday. <laughs> and then Neo, and then now Neo. they have um, Jenna, Jenna Tatum, or X Tatum. <laughs> Channing Tatum's ex-wife. Oh, her. She's on the, as a, she's, she's a judge now as well. Oh, cool, mm -hmm. I didn't even know that. Well, that's cool. Um, what was your guys' favorite performances? Of what, the World of Dance? Yeah, World of the Dance. <sighs> I know, it's kind of hard, right? Like, <laughs> we had to like, dig through the library. I honestly didn't really watch that much mm -hmm. of World of Dance on TV. Um, I think the main reason, if I really think about it, is just what happened with ABDC season, the last season. <laughs> Uh, and mm. we can get into that later, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it kind of just like took me away from the whole TV thing. Uh, I don't like hate it. Mm -hmm. I don't hate on it because like, like uh, going back to like the whole exposure thing, like TV is doing a great thing, exposing like the masses, uh, making people more aware of like dance and mm -hmm. like how much there is like behind um, just what you see on TV, you know? And so uh, like, I appreciate it for that fact. But um, yeah, just me personally, I just haven't been watching. I've only been seeing like clips on like Instagram or like mm -hmm. wherever they are. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should, I, sh I should probably know these things because <laughs> I'm on a podcast talking about dance. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, maybe just. I think it says a, gander, a lot yeah. though that we don't know a lot about World of Dance. I w didn't watch it. I didn't follow through with watching the whole thing because a number of reasons. I just didn't feel inclined to watch it. Again, I watched those other shows for pure entertainment. Not that World of Dance wasn't entertaining, mm -hmm. but I think because you got platforms like YouTube to like to fill that purpose for me, like I didn't want to or need to watch World of Dance, you know? Yeah, it's only because everyone's talking about it that I would feel the need to like. Okay, what are they talking about about this performance? Mm -hmm. um, I kind of just wanted, just like Brandon, I kind of wanted to stay away from that show uh, because I wanted to focus on the studio. It was around the time when we were opening and like building this, and so I just wanted to focus on our community more. You know, mm -hmm. um, I would watch Keone and Mari's performances. Oh, yeah. You know, because you have to. <laughs> but <laughs> have um, to. as a show itself, I just didn't <laughs> like, I don't know. I didn't feel connected to it or yeah. attached to it as I did with ABDC or Sweet Making Dance. Mm -hmm. And I think, it, I mean, we can kind of attribute it to the change in where we even get our entertainment as a whole. Like, mm. we don't, not a lot of people watch, like, television anymore, right. right? If it was, like, let's say a Netflix distributed series and stuff, maybe it would have got a lot more 
um, what a concept viewership <laughs> yeah. us, right like but I think it also we can also kind of look at it as um, that veil that reality TV veil is kind of gone now at this yeah. point right um, everyone is very in the know about like what's real and what's not and stuff uh, we're in this kind of era where we have instant access to information so it's like there's no hiding anything and I think it, you get what you get when you see on TV um, but for me I think what was pretty significant um, from watching World of Dance was seeing during Keone and Mari's um, performances under their names they would actually see the I would actually see the term urban choreography um, mm. under their names that's the first time and it's it, ever yeah, been on TV that crazy. term mm -hmm. and it was like pretty much like not to say that like it's official at that point but I think it was just cool because I think urban as a whole was very much trying to find its identity a little yeah. bit and I think now everyone is kind of um, stuck to that name of urban choreography right and I think it's just cool to see that representation and that terminology mm -hmm. being used to and exposed to a lot of people and so now that with especially us here as being an urban choreography focused studio that like people will more so understand what we really do right. um, as dancers That's outside and stuff. of the community yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. so I, I I was just like personally very affected by that just because it was just like you know what like yes hell yes yeah I don't know if hell's a, <laughs> a cuss word but you can bleep it out if you want yeah <laughs> I wonder if um, you know I know if our viewers still watch wad because mm -hmm. I think parents since i'm a kids program manager i hear parents talk about it all the time mm. i'm sure they watch it i wonder about our i wonder if our adult student, students keep up with wad you know well, that's a good question let us know if you guys still watch wad or are still like in tune with it please let us know in the comments and let us know about your favorite performances mm -hmm. anything that we miss or um, what do you recommend for us to watch or yeah, why school should us watch it? school <laughs> us please. so out of it i know <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah, I think WAD is, to me, um, which we're saying WAD, right? But this is how we usually like refer to World of Dance, yeah. um, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if that's like a normal term that everyone uses, uh, but WAD is generally how we refer to World of Dance. Um, but I think it is kind of a cyclical in that it is displaying a lot of different styles, um, but it's uh, these different types of groups that are showcasing what they really do best and mm -hmm. stuff so it is kind of like so you think you can dance but like on a larger scale a little right. bit where right. it is True. groups of people or pairs or you know there's yeah. different categories of it and i think it overall is just um really cool to see dance even after so say so you think world of dance came out in 2018 so like yeah like even after 15 years 14 years 13 years um that dance is still being shown on tv and i think overall that it's um it's cool to see, and it's cool to see that dance is um, being respected, I guess, as, as an art form. Right. Um, so I'm super excited about that, mm -hmm. and I wish the best for World of Dance, and just that it inspires and does a lot more um, for dance and the dance community. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, so, I mean, I think that pretty much wraps it up. Before we wrap it up, though, like, um, do you guys have any last thoughts about any other shows that maybe we didn't talk about today? Um, et cetera. Um, I know that we mentioned Dancing with the Stars. Dance stuff, on TV. But, um, My final Dancing with two. Dogs. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, like, you you know, know, I know that's a show. There on, was like, this show, Dance Moms. Dance Moms. That was, oh my God. It's a whole, a whole different story. <laughs> a whole different story. Um, it's entertaining. Dude, I love that show. <laughs> Reality. Yeah. You know, um, I know. Like, oh my God. Yeah, we talked about Dancing with the Stars. And then, you know, you got those movies. Like, oh, yeah. I, I love dance movies. I know. We'll probably make another podcast based off of just, like, all the movies and stuff. I feel like the only ones I really watched was, um, oh, my God, You Got Served. Mm. Oh. Yeah. And stuff. Is that the one with Chris Brown? Chris Brown? Yeah. <laughs> Chris Brown and Amari. Right? <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Like, I think that's the only one I watched. And, like, Step Up, if that's even. Step Up, yeah. Yeah. Or not Step Up. What is it? Yeah. Cause, Stomp the Yard. Um, what's her name? Allison Stoner. She was like my favorite oh, industry yeah. dancer. She's from Missy Elliott. I know. She did that K was it K pop video recently. She did. Yes. I still follow her. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I mean, but that pretty much wraps it up, I think, for today. Um, so thank you guys again so much for tuning in to Between Us Foos. Um, we're going to be posting these up every other Monday. Uh, so please stay tuned. Again, 
just for those who missed it in the beginning, Open Floor is going to be on September 14th. So we'll see you guys then. Thank you guys so much again for tuning in, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks.